up YouTube welcome to another tutorial all right the first thing what I want to do is I'm gonna want this to play out for at least about four seconds so let me go to the timeline and create a keyframe so when it gets to right here four second mark I'll just mark another keyframe and next what we want to do is now we just want to go to over here to where it says create and um, you just want to scroll all the way down until you get to new DeForce Wind node. Now you can name it whatever you like if you want to change the name, but I'm going to keep it the same, except now you can see right here at the bottom, this is our wind node. It's basically like a fan. Just pick, just think of it as that. It kind of even looks like a fan too, see? Little blades, three blades. Now, you see in between this, you don't want your subject in between this. Like you don't want to have it like this because you will find out that you are not seeing any wind. So you want to actually put that right there in front of your subject. You know, you see this blue line? That's the distance all this wind is traveling. I'm actually going to have it going up a little bit. Bring it down a bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, we wanna go over here. We wanna make sure we're in our parameters folder. This here is highlighted. Let's actually just click it here. And now I just wanna go look for the strength. You see how much power we want. I'm going to actually just beef it all the way up to the fullest. You can adjust it and play with it. You know, you can play with the fall off and everything else. But I'm just going to play with the strength. I want it at maximum strength. And um, once you're done with all that, that's pretty much it. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to your, your simulation settings and your tabs. So now right here in our simulation tab, we wanna make sure we have our character selected. Next, I'm gonna go over here to where it says simulation. Single, see the frames to simulate. So let's just click animated, use timeline play range. After that, you're pretty much done. You just have to click simulate. That's done. Now, now let's check it out. See what it look like. Now all we have to do is just hit play and we should see. As you can see, let's make this a little bit bigger. You can see the dress is blowing in the wind and that's how easy it is hopefully this tutorial was helpful if it was comment like and subscribe and like always i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace